hello guys welcome to my channel today's video is going to be a get ready with me i've done get ready with me like tiktoks and reels before i actually do them like all the time so if you don't follow me on tiktok and instagram make sure you follow me but this is going to be like an extended version and also with some new products <sighs> That I got over Christmas. So first things first, let's get our hair out of the way. Ooh. Okay, so first and foremost, I already moisturized my skin. I use this Garnier Skin Active Hydrating Cream. My foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 120. If you watch my last Get Ready With Me, I was struggling because I had the wrong shade. And I still have it, actually. It's this one back here. This one is in the shade 102, and it is so, so light for my skin tone. I had to work with bronzer to, like, fix it because it looked so bad. I looked like a ghost. I'm going to take my beauty blender. <laughs> I know I have to wash it. I just haven't had the time to. If you that don't know or don't follow me on social media, again, please do follow me on social media if you don't already. Like, what are you waiting for? But for those of you that don't know, we bought a house. So the whole month of December was just crazy because... We had like installments to do on the house. We also had to do the whole like moving process and packing and like, yeah, it's chaotic. Literally the first day that we moved in, like you couldn't walk through the living room. It was insane. We had so many boxes everywhere. And then from there, um, I got sick and then my boyfriend got sick and we were all just sick. We were actually sick for Christmas, which was fun. And yeah, so no, I haven't had time to like fix little things like this. Okay, so now that my foundation is all done, I'm going to go in with this other foundation that's lighter. I don't always do this, but today I'm feeling a little bit more like, mm, like I can, I can handle one more step in my routine. <laughs> okay, I went a little bit crazy. That's okay. Okay, so now the foundation is done. Looks really like smooth and flawless, but girl, let me tell you, it's not flawless at all. <laughs> I've been breaking out a lot with my skin and I think it's just because of all the stress of moving and like the changes. I don't know. There's it's been there's a lot going on at the moment, <laughs> but my skin has been just like breaking out and I can't really control it. OK, so now I'm going to do my eyebrows, but it's going to hurt. I have not plugged my eyebrows in such a long time. Like usually I just take one of those like little shavers and shave it off, but I don't think I have one right now. Okay, so I plucked some of the strays. Now I'm ready to actually put some product in my eyebrows. If you know me, I had been using the Maybelline Eyebrow Tattoo Pomade. That's a mouthful. Recently just ran out of it. And I was on the hunt for other makeup products. So I had been wanting to try like cheap Mexican makeup for the longest time. My only like two conditions that i have for this is nothing that goes on my skin like nothing that goes on my face because i already have a really sensitive face and i already have acne and i don't want to like infuriate the beast and the second condition that i put myself was that everything had to be sealed I found such good deals like so for eyebrows i found this pencil and i actually really fucking like it <laughs> and i think this was like 30 pesos i have to be careful because the first time i used it i went a little bit crazy and my eyebrows did not look good like they looked like sharpie eyebrows just do like little strokes and then i kind of just focus it more on the arch bring it down a little bit more because i'm kind of missing the tail of my eyebrow <laughs> and that's pretty much all that i do Ooh. okay so eyebrows I know what you're thinking, you haven't set your face, like, what is wrong with you? No powder? Like, you're just gonna leave her like that? No, I'm not gonna just leave her like that. I'm not gonna show you my powder because it is literally embarrassing how broken it is. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, of course. Uh, same thing in the shade 120 Classic Ivory, so. I'm just gonna go in and set everything in our face. I have been using the Maybelline products for a really long time, like, Okay, so when I started like covering up my acne, I went through so many different foundations. All of them drugstore because your girl didn't have that kind of money to like buy Estee Lauder or whatever the fuck. So out of all the like drugstore foundations, all of them broke me out except for the Maybelline uh, Femi Foundation and Wet n Wild. The Wet n Wild Foundation also didn't break me out and neither did... 
oh what's his face elf there was an elf foundation it wasn't jesus i don't know how many elf foundations there are nowadays but back in the day there was just like one elf foundation and that one was amazing never broke me out it was also really affordable so for my eyes um since this is my everyday makeup or no yeah it's my like almost everyday makeup i don't do anything crazy on a regular basis for my eyes i don't got the kind of time um or that kind of energy like keeping it real and i'm using this palette <clears throat> this is actually broken as well okay yeah this is the bisou contouring palette um i just take one of the cooler toned shades i mean it kind of depends usually during the winter i go for cooler tones and in the summer i go for warm tone for warm tones jesus and i just oh, i feel like i'm gonna get too much girl you know i go crazy i go crazy sometimes and i don't want anything that pops out too much so yeah and i just put that all over like oh i forgot what this part of the eye is called but yeah, I'm gonna try to blend it out as much as I can because I don't want it to look so heavy. That's all I do in terms of eyeshadow. Um, now the next step is actually a new step and I wasn't sure about including it, but we'll see how it goes. This can go 50-50, like either it looks really like good and wow, or it looks like I'm an anime character, but that is to put white eyeliner in my waterline. For that, I'm using this eyeliner. Um, this is also one of the like cheap, makeup products that i'm trying out just wish me the best of luck hopefully i don't poke out my eyes okay it looks crazy right now but just just put it towards like the middle of my eye and then that's it i'm just gonna curl my lashes now okay look at that difference though like she's serving okay um, but for mascara, I'm just gonna go in with the Renova Mini Mascara. There you go. The way that I do my eyelashes is I do a coat first, and that coat is just like on the very tip of my eyelash. And then I do another coat, and that's like on the middle of my eyelashes, and then the third and final coat, that's like at the base, like root of my eyelashes. The reason for that is because if you start like from the root right away, or like from the middle right away, there's a chance that your curl will just like flop i don't know if that makes sense i just saw it in a tutorial once and that's how i've been doing it ever since so i try to stay really just on the tip of the eyelash oh now i'm gonna go in with the second coat and this one can kind of just go all over the place like in the middle because and while that second coat is drying i'm gonna do the bottom eyelashes for the bottom, I don't really like to do much because then they look like spider legs. And I'm gonna go in with the third coat and then this one, same thing, it can kind of just go like all over the place. Do they look like spider legs? Kind of, I'm just kidding. I don't really think that they look like spider legs. They're kind of more spread out, so. Eyelashes can definitely just pull a whole look together or it can just like, break it apart this is what it looks like it's not like super red i think it's like close to my lip color kind of so yeah i've been trying it and you know i don't know if it makes it i don't know if it makes me look better or worse but dab on it and yeah just kind of thing like i feel like this cheek looks really good with like blush and then this one's just kind of like no i don't care for blush like it just doesn't look good okay now the very last step okay the very last step is lips this is also by apple and it is a crayon um in the shade it doesn't have a shade because it's cheap the only thing about this one is that it's really really dry it's kind of hard to deal with so because you know me and you know i'm a karmix girly I have karmics <laughs> and it kind of just helps blend everything together let's fix my hair this is second day hair i curled it yesterday and i was like i'm not gonna curl it today i'm just gonna let it be let me fix this hair fiasco and i'll be back